Two days into the Kenyan shopping mall siege, and a tense standoff continues. Sporadic gunfire rang out early this morning, but no final assault by Kenyan troops. A thick plume of smoke could be seen billowing from above the Westgate Mall. It's not clear at this stage if gunmen have set the place on fire or whether Kenyan security forces are using it as a tactic to advance. The armed attackers, Somali militants, possibly more than a dozen of them, are still believed to be holding hostages. Revenge, they claim, for Kenyan troops on Somali soil. This amateur footage captured the moment when gunmen burst into a supermarket, firing shots and hurling grenades, terrifying families out for a day at the shops. In a brief lull, hundreds of terrified men, women and children were led to safety, but it's believed many could still be trapped inside, and there's almost certainly more dead to be accounted for. Witnesses who fled describe horrific scenes. A grenade was thrown at us, and it went off. At the same time, he shot at us. Um, my son's head missed the bullet by just an inch. It bounced on the wall, and it hit the boy who was next to him. It was a tent where a cookery competition for children was carrying on, and there were bodies lying under there. There's a very famous radio presenter in Kenya, an Asian lady. She was shot, and, you know... Oh, the scene was carnage. And there was a guy lying right in the corner, I think. I mean, he was cut to shreds. As the media and emergency services waited for more news, a sudden dive for cover. It was a tense moment of confusion in a nation still traumatized by what's going on. Oh, I'm very surprised with the attack. And I don't know, as per now, we are very grieved and we are solemnly consoled with our... Our, our families, friends, and uh, Kenyans who have died, and, and even the ones which have not been rescued. We are not happy. You see, it is still an, a, a, um, a cowardice, an act of, an act of terror. It, uh, it is really cowardice. Many are praying for this nightmare to end, but everyone knows a watershed's now been crossed, and whatever the outcome, Kenya will never be the same again. Karen Allen, BBC News, Nairobi.